All right, this may not be the best way to do it, but it's the way that I've decided to do it. I'm level 11. I found myself without a story quest because they're all level 50 plus right now. Um, I don't have the next white mage or conjure quest until 15. I don't have dungeons until 15. Oh, wait, I was going to do that. Okay, so <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, I'm going to do guild heist. This is level 10. I think the next one is level 15, but we'll find out. These are, I'm a healer, so it should be really, really easy for me. But these are just a way to kind of learn basic training enemy parties, is what this one is called. And as a healer, your cues are almost immediate for most things you do, but... Good way to pick up a little bit of experience points on the side-ish while you're also doing quests and whatnot. <laughs> Might take a couple uh, tries to queue or people actually like be next to their computers when it pops so they can especially dps who are probably waiting forever for it you can do random guild heists too as a form of experience points i only have the one available because i didn't do them on my dragoon so uh basic tra training enemy parties slay all the enemies but stay out of the go gubu site so i guess there's a gubu and we don't want to have it let it see us. Hazardous zone means stay out of the purple. Well, fine, I'll run in here too. Um, we got a dark knight in here? Why? I mean, if he hasn't done him yet, I suppose, but still, weird. I don't even think he has AoE at this point, so... Does he? Why are you running away? You get teleported back to this dude when it's over. I don't think he remembers that. Seek, teleport. Back to the entrance. Talk to this dude. He'll give you something. <sighs> Got roughly 16, 1700 experience points and roughly 1150 gil. Level 12, apparently. Cool. I learned raise. Hell yeah, yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, there's another level 10 under the armor. I want to start this quest. It's level 5, though, and now I'm. Huh, I'm so, I'll still do it. The plan was to do. Yeah, anyway. Um. Somebody just sent me a link. I need to make sure that it's safe. Looks like it would be safe. Oh. Hmm. Get under the armor.
defeat Bachman and his Hellspawn minions. Why do you do this? There's just a kind of a big old ogre with a two handed sword. Maybe if you fight him here, the minions don't come at us? But it looks like they are. Yeah, they're coming at us. But, the duty's complete, just killing the big guy, I suppose, so cool. We got roughly 1,700 in experience points and roughly 1,200 gil. I got a player commendation for literally doing nothing. Next one's locked into level 15. So yeah, we got Sub T S U B H. We've talked to her before. Uh, Kamazon, level five, idle initiatives. Let's make sure I get my notepad out. And then guild heists are just basically a lot of nothing. They're not even initiative. Boopers, as that one YouTuber used to say. Oh, perfect timing. I was just looking for a likely last to track down some twin adder initiates. Three of our newest recruits have failed to report for training, exhausted from a month of solid drills, I expect. Considering their current physical state, I rather doubt they've wandered far. Hmm? Oh, gods, please don't mention wild beasts. Blood. Or blood. They're fine, I'm certain of it. Seek out uh, my wayward troops and tell them to report back to me on the double. There is one behind some cargo here, slumbering. Just a few more minutes, mother. Huh? Sergeant Camazon? Oh, F droppings. I must be late for training. There's one. I believe they continued in this direction. But I don't know. I don't remember for sure. Flying only barely. Oh, look. I gotta kill these Chico. For my hunting log. Which... Speaking of which, incomplete. Oh, not bad. I only got three left. Oh, three monster type? Nah, uh, don't kill my Chigo. Can I kill yours to get credit? I can, I think. Yes? Yeah, awesome. Let's go back in search of some things. Can you not see him intent to become one with nature? Leave me be, good madam. What? Sergeant Camazom sent you? M matron's teats. I better get back before she makes her, makes her boot with my backside. Makes her boot one with my backside. Reading is fun. Dimension. Reading is fun. Are you mental? Uh, here we go. And then the western side. On daydreaming initiate. Such a th such a soothing sound. One day I shall build a home by the river. Who who are who are you? Say the sergeant's looking for me. How long have I been here? What bell is it now? Stand aside. I must I must make haste. Thank you, Mercy. All the initiates are now present and accounted for. It's always the same, you know. A handful of recruits invariably lose focus a short while after being assigned to their new unit. That first rush of tension and excitement wears off, and the strain from constant drills begins, begins to show. Reprimanding them isn't always the best solution, though. I, I've their morale to think about, after all. Still, I might, be, I might give them a quick blast for good measure. What can I say? This is one battle I'm not afraid to fight. 350 experience points, 135 gil. Let's go this direction. We're going to fly to the east. There's a quest over here from Arold, a spear-wielding wood whaler. More than a flesh wound. More than a flesh wound. Eh? Level 7. 
Oh, good. Oh, God, it's the pain. I caught a scurry of squirrels gnawing on the fences earlier. I managed to drive them off, but not before they decided to gnaw on me instead. And now I'm the bloody mess you see before you. Well, that's fine. Uh, to make matters worse, I find myself without so much as a single high potion. I know, I know. Foolhardy. Foolhardy. I vaguely recall using my last one after some trifling scrape several moons pass. The gods alone know why I didn't think to replace it there and then. You wouldn't happen to be carrying a spare flask? If you don't have any on hand, the merchant at the Bannex should have some in her stock. I can't leave my post, so if you could bring me a high potion, I'd be tremendously grateful. I have plenty, probably. Seven health. Did those accursed squirrels leave any part of me untouched? Oh, you're back. Do you have those uh, high potions for me? I have 22, so we will hand over one. Thank the gods. I owe you one, my friend. Here, I want you to have this. I had no idea squirrels could bite so hard. I thought I had seen everything, but it seems there are still surprises to be found in the Twelve's Wood. We both would do well to remember that. 560 experience points, 146 gill, and I'm just going to take the 100 gill. The, the items were nothing. Uh, level 8, Parasite Cave. Let's go over there. We are in a... Oh, water sprites. i got to kill these. Cool. Awesome. This is doing good. I'm getting my, my logs done. Of course, a black F had to join the fun because you're, you're all annoying. Uh, level 11, no, 14, 16 is when I get new gear. I mean, I have new gear ready for those levels. And they say that here, all I have left is sur surfid swarms in the central shroud by green tier. I'm in green tier. Let's look around for them first, actually. Surfid swarms. These are raptors up there, I know that for sure. I think they might be down here. So we're kind of in the very eastern part of Central Shroud. We got some boars, a big tree, more hoglets, boars. Um, we got some chigos. Oh, they're up here, aren't they? Okay. Cool. Thank you. We'll take you. We'll take you. And we'll take you. Level 13, next rank unlocked. Bitches be hating. All right, let's get that quest done. The door is over here. No? Yeah? Okay, cool. We've got Gabinu uh, sitting down on the bench with a co probably conjurer named Pauline uh, around him and an Aldred, some commoner probably, but he's got like wood whaler gear. Sort of, Gabinu does. Um, dark glasses, maybe blind, and a two-handed axe. Parasite Cleave, that's what it's called, okay. Parasite level eight. God damn you mushroom-headed, spindly-legged, spore-spewing abominations. Suck the life out of my precious trees, will you? Damn you to the seven, hmm? Oh, thank the matron. You look just like, like just the sort to help me deal with this nightmare. My poor trees, trees I have tended since they were scarcely saplings, I might add, have been infested with parasite fungwars. If I let the, those pests have their way, my babies will be naught but dead wood before the week is out. Smear a little of this amber unguent on an infested tree, though, and the horde creatures will drop clean off, allowing you to administer adventure-style vengeance. <laughs> Did you hear that, you malignant toadstool? Your end is nigh. They'll rue the day. <clears throat> my, my apologies. The wrath was upon me. Fear not, I am now quite calm. So the Fungwars, bastards as they are, have attached themselves to the to three trees. Once you've ground those treacherous mushrooms into a pulp beneath their righteous boots, come back and tell me exactly how it felt. I like this guy. He scares me in a good way. So we got a decaying tree, which we click on. Amber ungent we will apply. And death we will apply in due order. A parasite fungwar appears, level five, not scary. Oh, 
I think the next one would be higher. We'll find out. Uh, decaying tree number two, amber ungent. I think the person that I'm talking to is a bot, or like not a bot, but somebody who's trying to get me to click on something or go to something that's going to do bad things for my phone, in this case. And, but hey, you know, she, she theoretically runs her own online shop, which theoretically also makes for her $1,220,000 or more per month. Like that's what she makes, theoretically. Uh, unless it really fucking people over. Uh, Gabinu, well, did you sk did you take care of my fungar inf infestation? Yes, at last I can enjoy a restful night's sleep. I must say I'm glad to meet an adventurer of such talents. Just look at you and all your fungus spattered glory. You have my thanks. 600 experience points, 15 wind shards, and our choice of gloves. That one is only a little bit better than what I have. One defense and two magic defense more? Sure, why not? Give me a second. <laughs> Holy shit. The items on here are like way expensive for what, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Next up, Gabinu again, Soil Despoilers. Hold on. Soil Despoilers. When I'm only doing like one or two, um, ah, oh, it's you, Mercy. After the thrashing you gave those infernal fungwars, I do believe you might be the very person to solve another problem of mine. Me, microchews. Those vile beasts draw their sustenance directly from the soil. Ordinarily, the forest would be only too happy to provide, but these days, they, they, there are just too many, bloody many of them. So many, in fact, that they're leaching every last nutrient from the ground. You think the soil was put here just for you and your mic micro-chew mates? Gah, I should go over there and, well, I'm not really sure what it, what it is I should do, but someone should certainly do something, and soon. But before I, I, I apologize, the rage, you see, it takes over and there's not I can do but fume and splutter. If you could see your way to exterminating eight or so of those dis soil despoilers, you would have my eternal gratitude. Once you've taken care of the micro chews, I'd be grateful if you would report to Eildfrith. E-A-L-D-F-R-I-T-H. Eildfrith. You'll find him just outside. I hear the de uh, degradation of the soil has been as much of a source of consternation to him as it is has been to me. And I'm sure he'd appreciate knowing the problem's been solved. Sure. Stack up some, some dots on these puppers. Uh, 
O to have an AoE. That'd be fun right now. Now that I've checked out her link, she's gone. She didn't like that. I was like, hey, um, I'm not going to, I don't want to click on uh, this like links that I get from people that I've known for two days. So did you send me some screenshots of your shop? And she's like, I didn't ask you to look at it. You gave me the link. What do you think I'm going to do with the link? You say you've slain a good number of those micro shoes. Well, that is a welcome piece of news. I was afraid of, I was afraid old Gabby Noob would take an axe in hand and try to hack apart the pests himself. Perhaps now his troubled mind might know some peace. You have my thanks. 680 experience points, 122 gil, 17 wind shards. And we are done with you as quest giver and the dude who gave the quests. So we will go over to Bent Branch Meadows. Hold on, what level is that? That's 10, that's 10. I could leave quests too, but eh. I'd rather kind of just do stories. Like, leave quests are just. Or not stories, but, uh, well, quests that have a story to them. Leave quests are just. Do this many things of this thing. Alright. Kukuvachi is a Lalafell white haired merchant. No, why it's got a white turban. White turban, white robe merchant. Oh, that looks like a merchant. Not a material girl. Not a material girl. Level 10. You there, adventure. Yes, you will suffice. I have a job I need performed, and I'm willing to pay the going rate. A trifling task, really. I simply need you to ask the locals here at Bench Front, Bent Branch Meadows what the head wrangler covets most in all the world. This is a private matter, a lest you doubt, so you'll be sure to inquire discreetly. And please, for the love of Nal, do not reveal that you are in, in my employ. In fact, it'd be best if my name wasn't mentioned at all. So, you want people who have grown up... Anyway. Aethel... Aethel... Aethel Thrith. A-E-T-H... Aeth... E-L-T-H... Aethel... R-Y-T-H... Aethel Thrith. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, tending to a Chocobo. What? Does Keitha covet most? Uh, why would you wish to know some... Wait a minute. That old Don merchant put you up to this, didn't he? <sighs> He's wasting his time with that approach. If the man is serious about owning a Chocobo, he would be better served by convincing Keitha of his intent to provide the bird with the proper care and attention. So that's his motive. Ma -ba -ba. Here is Leo Dare, sitting on a rock. Keitha? The only thing Keitha wants is for her birds to be happy. If she cares for anything besides the well-being of the Chocobos, then I've not heard of it. And numero tres is one of the guards here, Bernard. I believe we talked to him before. What's that about Miss Keitha? Hmm, doing that peddler's dirty work, are you? If that half-wit thinks some shiny trinket will move her heart, then he's out. He's dafter than he looks. Any fool can see Miss Keitha is only interested in her birds. Tell Kukuvachi from me that if he persists in harassing the head wrangler, the wood whalers will remove him from Bent Branch Meadows for disturbing the peace. Got that? I got it. Don't hurt me. I'm just a messenger. I've been suckered. Last. Well, do you plan to keep me in suspense? I must have a Chocobo for my very... What's this? They told you nothing of her material desires? Ugh, the stubbornness of these Gridanians is infuriating, and I should have known better than to hire a buffoon for such delicate work. To think of the amount of gil I have wasted on this fruitless venture. Oh, cease your mewling, I promised you a reward, and a reward you shall have. Now leave me to my misfortune. 850 experience points, 173 gil, and... I'm going to take another 100 gil. 
That opens up a quest here, extended fences. Sure. I got a message, hold on, what time are we in here? 25? We're gonna end it here. It's good enough for now. I'll do, I'm gonna do another one or two maybe tonight. We'll see, if time permitting. But uh, ta-ta for now.